This is kind of crazy. First time here on a Sunday, uh, past six. It's uh, about quarter till eight right now. So it is the first time in years I'm here on a Sunday late and I have a heavy leg day late. Well, I've done heavy leg days before on like Thursdays and Wednesdays, but this is the first time on a weekend, 24 hours, boom. All right, so I wanted to get this down on video while I have an available whiteboard to use. So I wanted to jot down really quick the difference between my September 2015 prep compared to what I'm doing right now for my 2016 prep. I hope I got that right, 2015, 2016 prep, okay? So uh, let me show you what the 2015 prep conceptually was like, and then afterwards I'll show you what the current prep is like right now. Okay. All right, so this this is the basic concept guidelines of how the September prep went for me. So um, leg switch pull times two, or I like to call it leg poo poo, times two. So Sunday to Friday, I would work out straight. So legs push pull, legs push pull. And then I would rest Saturday. Cardio would always be done post-workout. I've never done pre-workout cardio um, or cardio in the morning, or like that cardio when I wake up because uh, I always wanted to get everything done all in one session. So post-workout cardio, I always done that. And so how the training scheme went for um, the weightlifting and such is that Sunday to Tuesday, the first leg push pull would always be a strength day. And then Wednesday to Friday, it would always be a um, or strength block and then a hypertrophy block for the next leg push pull. Uh, for the strength days, I focused on, or for all these movements, or for all three of those days, six of those days, I focused on the big three, squat, bench, and deadlifts. Um, but for the strength days, I don't know why I tagged it like this, but for the big movements, I always did three sets of four. Uh, but for the strength days, I would do uh, either fives or threes because I wanted to build strength for those strength days. So I wanted to try to progress up like the next week. But uh, that, I guess that wasn't the case. And then the accessory work would be more bodybuilding bodybuilding volume. I should tack this really quick so that way they're these two days and then this one, this is its own day. Okay, so, so, uh, so that way I get the strength stuff going and then I can get bodybuilding volume afterwards. So it's still, well, not, the volume is not necessarily so high. It says that this reflects more bodybuilding rather than strength building. And then for the hyper days or the hypertrophy days, uh, the big three will always be invariant. So I will not do my typical way I do my back squat for strength. I'll probably do like a high bar close stance or maybe practice low bar um, other than my uh, high bar hybrid stance. And then bench would be like uh, incline bench press and then deadlifts will be, well, more deadlifts. Uh, but these days will reflect more higher volume days, so typical bodybuilding stuff. So the hyper days, basic bodybuilding, strength days, uh, working on strengthening the big three, but also have a little bit of bodybuilding volume because in order to build strength, you need muscle, but in order to, to build muscle, you need a good foundation of strength. All right, so this is how the 2016 prep is going. Uh, anything written in blue is pretty much the additions or the changes to my current prep. So. Still doing the same thing, leg push pull times two, le poo poo, Sunday to Friday, Sunday to Friday, rest Saturday, cardio is always done post workout. The only real difference here is that at the beginning half of the week, the first leg push pull, I'm doing hypertrophy focused stuff, and then the second half will be strength stuff, and that will be explained in a little bit. Still focusing on the big three, but I'm going to be focusing on the big three for all or for both blocks of the week. So. How I'm doing this is that I'm doing a two week progression of my legs push pull and I'm only lifting between 70 to 80% of my one rep max because this is my problem area as far as strength goes. I'm not familiar with this. I'm familiar with low end stuff. I'm also familiar with high end stuff. So I don't want to, um, or I want to be more familiar in this range. So like the five to eight rep repetition range. This is uh, the one I don't have experience in. And I figured if I work here, I get the best bang for buck on building strength and hypertrophy kind of at the same time. But I feel this will probably be a, a better maintain range for me. So uh, accessory works after doing, you know, doing my big main mover, always still going to be uh, bodybuilding volume. Uh, hypertrophy days though, instead of doing a variation, it's still going to be focused on the big three. So if the first half is going to be like this, work on the big three 
uh, according to your progression block. Then the next, I'm still following the same format. The only thing I gotta think about is just the variation of accessory works that I wanna do on the next half of the legs push pull, or the second time I go in to do legs, or the second time I go in to do push and pull, right? So, how everything's planned out is um, I work 70 to 80% of my one rep max. Um, for squat, uh, it's different between uh, squat, squat, bench compared to deadlifts because deadlifts are the most taxing. So I adjusted that to reflect that. So for 70%, I'm gonna do, or ev for everything is gonna be um, uh, absolutely three sets, all right? So for squat and bench, it's gonna be three sets of seven reps. And for deadlifts, it's gonna be three sets of five. And then um, when I hit the next session, it's gonna be 75% uh, uh, squat and bench for three sets of five, deadlifts are gonna be three sets of three. Now when I, go into the next so that's or this represents or this represents right here uh two blocks so when i go back and hit the second week of a legs push pull it's it's going to be uh revisiting 75 percent again and then we're going to hit into 80 which would be the test session right so uh the third i guess the third uh legs push pull in the second the start of the second week this again but the last uh legs push pull is going to be 80 percent so Squat and bench, 80%, two sets of three, and then the third set is gonna be an AMRAP set, and I'll explain this in a bit. Deadlifts, same concept, 80%, two sets of two, and then an AMRAP for that third set, okay? And that will encompass itself over two weeks, or like what I like to call a two-week cycle, and it's not necessarily a block, but it's a cycle. And if everything goes right, it's either I'm maintaining strength, or I get to increase uh, my working weights for next week. And so, concept-wise of how I determine if I want to uh, increase weight or not from the AMRAP for the next cycle. It's pretty much this chicken scratch right here. So um, if somehow I did the equal amount of weight, weight reps for the week. So here in the 80%, I have to do a minimum of three because that's my working sets, a minimum of two for deadlifts. So I hit equal that. That means for next week, I should probably repeat the cycle because I wasn't able to uh, improve upon three reps or two reps doing um, the big three. So I would just repeat the cycle again. Um, if I did less reps of 80%, then the next cycle I would reduce the starting number for next week compared to the cycle that was currently finished. So if I did, um, so if I started the first week at 135, but for the top end I wasn't able to do, I don't know, 150 for three, then I would actually reduce it down the next cycle to maybe uh, 130 and kind of build myself back up. So it's, I'm taking a couple steps forward and then a couple steps back to kind of um, refamiliarize myself with my strength or maybe I just need a little bit more recovery before I step up in progression. If I do more than 80%, I will, or more reps uh, in the 80% range, I will increase the one rep max by five pounds and then adjust the numbers for next week. So I may not um, add you know, five, 10, 15 pounds consistently when I'm doing uh, the 70, 75, 80% increases. But um, the one rep max just work will increase all the, you know, the numbers in these areas over time. So it's a fairly slow progression, but I feel um, I'm able to maintain myself a lot more. And so far I've been doing uh, our, this, this week I started my seventh cycle of this. So this concept I thought back in, uh, uh, when was it? October, so when I took my hiatus, this is what I thought about and I wanted to kind of test things off. So I started all my one rep max numbers fairly low and now I'm kind of to the point where, where I am right now body weight wise, which I'm floating 136, 137. It's very comparable to where I was at like 140, 145. It's comparable to those weight numbers. So this is actually working. I feel like a genius to actually do all this. But we'll see how all this progresses because I may have to uh, switch things up to more of a, I guess, bodybuilder type routine once I get closer and closer to the show. And I guess this week is 14 weeks out from the April show. So this may all change, but I want to be able to maintain my strength as best as I can because. I want to be really small, but also be really strong. That jacked and tan look, you know what I mean? Be aesthetic, but also be able to
the Fermi estimate. Okay, so that's routine right there.